Hey everyone, it's Jess. Well, today marks the last day of my 30 days of daily upload challenge. Yay! I can't believe it's been a month since I started this challenge and I think I surprised myself actually about whether or not I'd actually make it this far, which I guess guys, it's a good thing. And um, so yesterday I I mentioned in the communities tab, but I, I mentioned I just thought I'd do, I, I'd end the challenge by doing a video on sharing with you guys some of the learnings that I discovered after doing this challenge. But I also wanted it to be, or you still wanted to have some plants in it. So guys, you would have seen this plant recently. He was a plant that I got that I unboxed a few days ago. This is my Philodendron Florida and I know that in that video I kept referring to him as a Florida ghost. It's not a Florida ghost. The Florida ghost is the variegated form. This is your normal Florida. But guys, I also wanted to introduce him. He's actually called Mr. Burns. If you guys know why, <laughs> maybe put it in the comments below. But this is Mr. Burns, my philodendron Florida. And he's going to be here as we go through the learnings. Also, guys, if I'm looking over here, it's because I've written up my notes on my laptop. So that's what I'm referring to. So I started this challenge on the 17th of May and now it's the 22nd of June. And all up, I missed five days um, for that challenge. Um, so overall, I think I did all right, guys. Before I, before I go through the learnings, I thought I just might share with you guys a little bit about why I did the challenge in the first place, just so that there's some context. I started this challenge because I found that I was really lacking motivation in my life and also that I was making excuses for myself or that I was finding it quite easy to make excuses for myself when it came to not being able to do something and I knew it in my heart I, I did have the energy to do something but I just couldn't kick myself up the bum to to get me to do it which is why on a whim I was like you know what let's upload videos for the next 30 days really it was just uh, I guess this challenge is just driven by a need to prove to myself that I could do something if I set my mind to it and really this challenge i i decided on a whim to be honest i i'd actually seen my friend mary grew plants hi mary uh she uh, please give her a follow on her instagram at uh, mary grew plants uh she's an australian uh plant um, instagrammer and she was doing this daily house plant challenge where every day for a month you you upload a photo of a plant on your Instagram and so I decided to take that and was like well I'm gonna do YouTube videos <laughs> so that's what I decided to do guys and the, the purpose of it was as I said was to 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 kick myself up the bum and to really try and prove to myself that I did have I could find the time and energy to commit to something if I just really tried you guys getting into uh, what I learnt from it. I've got four things to share with everyone but I thought I might uh, frame those learnings with a little bit about how much time in general uploading a video would take. So generally it would take me five to six hours a day to get a video uploaded on YouTube and that would include one to one and a half hours, two hours of research and writing the notes that I would be talking through uh, when I filmed. Then it'd be an hour or so of actual filming, about two hours of editing um, and then one hour I would have to create the thumbnail to get the video ready to upload on YouTube to write the description and to start responding to comments so all of that all in all it took me between five to six hours a day um, to upload about a 10 minute video onto my channel and uh, I would also um, and the other thing to add to this is that I work full-time so I work Monday to Fridays and my work hours were generally nine hours. so with that in mind I thought I'd just go through the first 
um, the first learning I came across and that was motivation is something you can create for yourself rather than something that you have to wait for it to come. I guess where this came from was because I often said that I couldn't do something because I didn't feel like it or I didn't feel inspired to do it. An example of that is with my channel. I didn't feel like I could film a video today or I I just didn't I didn't feel motivated to to film um, but one thing I realized was by doing this challenge was that the more I did something and in this case it was filming a video the more easy I found it to be to film more videos and so that to me was it wasn't so much waiting for motivation to come but it was that I could actually create it for myself and I found that the more I uploaded the more I wanted to and that created a, a really nice snowball effect that really helped me um, build momentum with these videos and actually help me keep me on track so yes guys the first thing I want to share with you if you ever find that you're lacking in motivation I would highly suggest you to actually just start whatever it is that you're trying to put off and and just just give it a go because what you find is once you do that one little thing it often inspires you or compels you to want to do that next step the second tip I wanted to share with everyone was that I learned self-discipline is a muscle that you can actually grow. What I've also realized is that your brain is often wired to help you find the most comfortable solution. And so what was most comfortable for me was to spend my nights watching YouTube videos. But I actually found that what actually made me happy was actually being able to engage with you guys over the videos I made and actually film the videos but that was often the more uncomfortable or the the thing that required more effort because it required more effort to film to research and edit a video than it did to just watch youtube videos but one thing i realized was that by committing to uploading every day it was as if i was exercising that self-discipline um, muscle and so just like how you work out at a gym after you get through that initial hump you know, working out your your biceps becomes easier and easier and that's also what I found with self-discipline. The more I did it, the easier it became for me to actually self-discipline and commit to doing something. The, the second learning I wanted to share was that realize that your brain is actually wanting you to do an easier option, but that easier option is not necessarily the option that's going to make you most happy. Um, and also recognizing that self-discipline is something that you can you can grow you're not necessarily born with it but you can actually build up to it tip number three is that knowing what your priorities are makes you more comfortable and willing to make sacrifices and the the learning from this was I mentioned that out of these 30 days there were five days that I would missed up my daily uploads and I actually remember the reasons for missing out my daily uploads they were I wanted to spend some time cooking with my mom we had a family games night it was my brother's birthday I wanted to see my friends because I hadn't seen them for about um, for about three months because of the um, quarantine and then also the last one was I was just recognizing that I was burning out and so with all these instances I actually felt happy uh, maybe happy is not the right word but I don't feel guilty that I wasn't able to do something and that being my my 30 day challenge because I'd recognize that these things valued more, which is probably right, right? Like you want to spend time with your friends and family and you want to look after yourself. They're definitely a lot more important than your plants, although sometimes <laughs> I disagree with that. But hopefully you see where I'm coming from. Because I knew what I was sacrificing for, because I know what I wanted to put my time to, that was either my friends, my family or myself, I was okay with not being able to do something. And doing that meant I didn't beat myself up or feel guilty because I broke the challenge. Because I know that what I was breaking the challenge for was was important to me. The last thing I had was 
knowing when you need to give yourself a break and i gotta admit guys that despite all those great learnings there were times in this challenge where uploading every day really did start to take a toll on me from an energy and sleep perspective because there were times where there was probably about a period of two weeks or so where I was sleeping at about 1.30 because I needed to get these videos out and so I think guys what that's made me realize was that initially I started this challenge by saying I'm going to upload videos onto my channel and that was the challenge for 30 days but one thing I didn't realize and I didn't factor in was that this channel has you guys into it this is like a community and part of being in a community is also engaging with everyone and so one of the things I really learned from this was that I really enjoy engaging with everyone and it was a bit of a shame that I couldn't respond to my comments here or my Instagram as quickly as I could um, which is something I've realized and so I'm probably not ever going to do daily uploads because it just doesn't give me the time for me to respond to everyone here on my Instagram um, but it also made me realize how important you guys are to this process it's not just about uploading videos it's actually sharing something with people that also like it and will also respond so you guys those were the tips i wanted to to share with you the other thing i wanted to share with everyone for those who are sort of interested from more of a youtube side what did uploading 30 days do for my channel it definitely attracted a lot more people to the channel so there's about 330 new subscribers to this channel so welcome everyone in terms of percentages that's a a growth of about 360 percent which is crazy i think on average i get about 90 60 to 90 or so subscribers a month um and then in terms of views guys the views went up by uh three uh 300 percent so i think normally this channel gets about um 8, views a month but for this past month there was 24,000 views which which is a lot and i think it's just a that's just a reason because i'm putting out more things for people to watch and so i'm going to i guess hopefully watch but guys i just thought i'd share this for anyone who's sort of interested from more of a youtube side of things i guess the last bit to this video is well where to from here after this challenge and what does it mean for my channel so i think in the first instance i'm going to take a couple of days off i hope you guys don't mind but i'm actually looking forward to maybe uh, the next couple of week days to just relax a bit from a channel perspective i want to say thank you em because <laughs> you responded to my my question on my communities tab yesterday um i will do a video on my the plants on my wish list i was actually wanting to do a video on that so for this channel i'm going to upload three times a week i want to do uh, one or two houseplant care videos and then one video that's more of a vlog or uh, self-care Sundays um, because one of the things of this channel if you notice in my banner I've got uh, I describe this channel as a how-to guide on growing plants but also growing my my own confidence because one of the reasons why I started this channel was also to, to sort of grow my own confidence. I guess guys the last thing about where to from here with my channel is that look forward to more prompt responses from me on this um on videos and also on my instagram i'm going to be also uploading a lot more on my instagram because that had to take a pause i just wasn't able to keep up with it but look out for some more plant photos there featuring mr burns but guys thank you so much for sticking by with me for the past 30 days i can't believe it <laughs> i'm actually quite proud of myself for being able to do it guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it i will probably see you this weekend i will be more active on my instagram so by all means have a chat to me there otherwise guys i will see you in my next video bye